usually tell people I run a hot dog stand. And then they say, no, really? And then I say, no, actually, I build robots. And of course, whoa, really, you build robots? That's right, and they want to know more. If you look at robots, for example, 10 years ago to today that you can find in you know, hobby stores, they don't have any new functionality. What we're doing is much different. We're actually integrating real world sensory. So your robot can understand colors, your robot can understand faces, your robot can understand motion, your robot can understand your voice. Wally, dance, please. And to take control of your robot, we allow you to use joysticks and Wii controllers. You can use your iPhone. So we're integrating real world experiences into these robots to allow them to be able to interact with society. Easy Robot does for the personal robotic industry what Apple computers did for personal computing. It allows anybody to build and own their own personal robot. Growing up, I was very introverted. And to a sense, I still am. I think that my interest in robotics stemmed from being an introvert. When I was a kid, I was building robots out of practically anything. I'd get toys from my, my mother, I'd get toys from my father for Christmas, I would take them apart and turn them into something that was totally different. So I dreamed of having that companion. When I grew up, being a geek wasn't cool. Being a geek was foreign, not understanding the technology, not understanding the computer, not understanding electronics. So in many cases, it was actually quite difficult growing up. And I'm envious of children these days because they're able to go to school and it's uncool to not be smart. What is your name? That's right. When I first went to see the movie WALL-E, I was inspired. It was a fantastic movie. They did a lot with very little. And when I saw the toy and brought it home, it didn't do very much. So being one of the first robots I took apart and converted it into an easy robot, my challenge was, of course, is to give it a personality. My challenge with WALL-E was to make him come alive. So what I had done is I've taken the WALL-E and I've given him the personality from the movie. And from that, we got a lot of attention and a lot of people started emailing myself before Easy Robot was even a company. This is the Easy Robot Complete Kit, which includes your circuit board, a camera, servos, everything you need to start building a robot from scratch. So Easy Robot currently spans across 116 countries with thousands of users around the world. We get people from Africa helping people in China you know, with their robotic problems. And we see new companies being spawned off of our product already around the world. We like, kind of like how we're creating a global company from right here in Little Calgary. I don't know where robots are going to be in, in the next 15 to 20 years. I don't even know where they're going to be in the next uh, three to five years. But it's up to society to tell us and create that demand for robotics. Once you put it all together, you're ready, and your robot comes to life. What's exciting about working in the field of robotics is you never know what people want the next day. You never know what people want from their robots. So hearing the requests from people saying, can my robot do this, allows me to get excited and say, yes, let's make that happen. So we never get bored of what we do.